Hello and welcome to That's The Point. This is the place, one of the only places, I mean, I think it is the place, uh, dedicated to precision positioning technology. My name is Corey Meyer, joined here today by my resident hardware nerd, Gian Lopez. What's up, man? I'm doing good, but not the nerd part. All right, we're just moving on, we're moving on. So in this episode, we're talking about total stations and we're actually heading back to the idea of checking and verifying your gear quickly and effectively in the field. And specifically today, we're actually looking at laser pointer alignment. Now, Gian, the laser pointer we're talking about is the actual piece of the total station that takes the distance measurement. So effectively, it's the EDM pointer, correct? Yes. So say you're ever having some sort of inaccuracy, your laser pointer is what does all the measurements. If you start seeing some sort of weird error or just something that concerns you, we can do a quick and dirty check to see if you can compensate that value within the HAVA collimation, or it's going to have to be brought into your dealer. Right, and this goes in perfectly with the previous episode we did on the HAVA collimation, which we have those steps. It's linked down below. But this this test actually tells you if you can actually fix this in the field or if it needs to come back. So this yes. is a cool this is cool kind of the precursor to that test. Um, and you could, like Gian said, like you could be doing this for any number of reasons. Maybe your RTS took a knock or a bump, or you just want to install some best practices to be sure that your instrument is performing at factory specification. We're gonna need some things. We need an RTS, obviously. We're gonna need a Trimble tablet running FieldLink. Um, and we're gonna need a space or, or enough room to take a, a 60 foot shot, give or take. So yes. about a 60 foot shot. And we're going also to also need a target or a place that we can mark on the wall. So a marker, pen, sheet of paper like we have here today. Um, and we've got all those things. So you ready to do it? Yeah. All right, let's Go do this. This should be fun. All righty. So just two things that you gotta make sure is make sure your tablet's on, equipment's on, and it's leveled within spec. So you go ahead and actually open up your field link application. You'll connect to the instrument. Make sure that you guys have a sort of mark within 60 feet or so, give or take. All right. So if you can't make a mark with a Sharpie on a wall, on a non-reflective surface, something flat, go ahead and just use a piece of paper, draw an X on it, and go ahead and tape it up on that object that you or the surface that you're going to shoot to. Okay. From there, just use your core sights, aim the instrument directly towards that target, right and on use the your right on the crosshair. Use your servo knobs, and you know, line it up perfectly as best as you can. Got you're it. looking for that reticle to line up to that target, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go back within Field Link, and you're going to press the device setup, and you're going to press the prism icon, switch it into laser mode, and then what you're going to do is you're going to look through the scope and see if you can see how the laser lines up to the target on that crosshair that you or the mark that you made, okay? From there, if you can't physically see it because of lighting conditions, go walk up to the target and then physically see that the light that is being emitted from the instrument is hitting dead on. If it is off within an eighth, anywhere around that target of the center, you will be able to correct that or compensate for it with your HAVA collimation. If it's anything more than that, you are going to have to bring it into your local service dealer. And that's, I mean, this is straightforward. This is a fantastic tip because with this simple step, you can realize if you need to perform HEV accommodation, which you link that down below. Um, that's awesome. I mean, this is the kind of cool tips we like. Good yeah. job. You're Good welcome, job. man. Hey, new year, Thank new you tips. For me. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> and of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your local building point representative. And don't forget, smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. John, thanks for doing another one. Yeah. Thank you for having my, me, man. My favorite nerd. <sighs> thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on That's the Point.